start the day off, I'm gonna sing you guys a paleo ballad. So come right back for my chicken crusted pizza with arugula salad. Fit Paleo. We've got one large chicken breast on the board. I've lined the board with two layers of plastic wrap, and now I will pull another two layers wide over the top, and then I've got a tenderizer here. This is a double-sided jobber. Let's see. I'm gonna start with the spiky end. That's gonna kind of break this skin surface or the uh, side of the breast that the skin is attached to. Once that's kind of broken and loosened, then I'll switch it back and we'll use the flat side. We're gonna flatten this out, try to get a round shape so that it looks like a pizza. So we broke through a little bit and, and it's not perfectly round. What I'm thinking, is that I want it to fit on this plate, will it? Yes. And what I'm gonna do, I got a sheet pan here, drizzle this with a little olive oil, and then I'm gonna top it with some gaga garlic. And then I'm gonna flip this onto my sheet pan, kind of fill all the holes. A Little more olive oil on top, some more gaga garlic. I'm gonna throw this bad boy in the oven, roast it at 350. Next up, we're gonna make our toppings. I've got four slices of bacon. Add to a cast iron skillet. We'll render that down. The fat will help cook our mushrooms, which we have here. I'm gonna slice these. Right, I'm gonna say that's enough. Now what's gonna happen is our pizza, we're par cooking it, par cooking the crust. It doesn't have any toppings on it. We're gonna partially cook the toppings and then we're gonna take the two par cooked items marry them together and then finish it in the oven. All right, shrooms are going in the pan. Um, we're gonna add a little red onion. So we'll julienne that, a little bit over a quarter of an onion. We'll get that in there. Then a little salt and pepper. I'm those guys, we'll just let that cook. Here we are guys. Just pulled that out. It's maybe, I don't know, it's probably three quarters of the way cooked. This stuff here, coming along great. Got our bacon to crisp up. What I'm gonna do, cut the heat there, and then I'll tilt the pan. Just kinda get the, uh, all the grease, as much of the fat, to this side, and then we'll scoop these out. So, all right, now here to sauce our pizza, we're just gonna keep it simple. I've got a tomato puree, I'm gonna go here, about that much, all the way around. The gaga garlic will come up from the bottom, and then to give it a little bit of like the Italian herb type feel, some Greek freak on top, and then what else? Now we'll grab our toppings. Bacon and mushrooms. Onions looking good. All right, that looks nice. And then some green, we've got some green chilies. We'll put those on top, black olives. The toppings you can mix up, use whatever you'd like. I just chose these because they're what we had on hand and I thought they'd taste good. So now I'm gonna get this back in the oven. While our pizza's finishing, I'm gonna throw together a quick arugula salad. And if there's one thing I could teach you, or a couple things I could teach you, one would be eat as many leafy greens as possible, and two, learn how to toss a basic salad. We're gonna use olive oil, lemon juice. Okay, I got half of a lemon left over. I'm gonna juice that baby. Salt, pepper, and then I'm gonna add a little red chili to this one. A little red chili. Normally just salt and pepper is all you need. And then just gently with the hand, toss it. And people always go, you know, you buy dressing and you have bottles in your fridge, probably 10 of them getting old. But really all you need is lemon, olive oil, salt and pepper. Just like that. So we'll wait for our pizza to finish and then we'll plate it all up. 
All right, here we go. Nice uh, caramelization happening on the pan. I'm confident that our chicken is cooked through. Now what we gotta do is just get this baby off the pan, onto the board. And it's kinda got a dull color, uh, you know, no real bright veggies. That's what we're gonna use the salad for. And then maybe even some tomatoes. What about a fresh red tomato? Would you guys like that on your salad? Oh, we'll go here, here. And how about that? Maybe just half of one. So from here, our salad, or let's cut it, right? Let's cut the pizza. So we'll go one, two, let's go six slices. Three, four, five, six. And then our salad on top. All right, and then we're gonna take it from there, a little fresh basil, line them up here, roll them over. Right on top. Drizzle of oil, a little pepper. Boom, tasty stuff. Alternative, right? I mean, normally you're seeing cauliflower crust or almond crust or something like that. We're going with the protein as the crust here. It's kind of a mitza, uh, but a little bit different. Chicken breasts don't have to be boring, guys. Get in the kitchen, be creative, have some fun, and at all times, remember to keep it paleo.